Hello and welcome to Abana News. Today I'm going to talk to you about the fake humidor of my disposals. You've been hundreds to send me messages and asking me what is happening. So now it's been three months already and since I made this video um, I came back nearly um, a year ago from Cuba uh, with this box. Um, so just to sum it up, for those who haven't seen the video, watch the first video. I'm going to sum it up. 2019, I buy this box, this humidor of Magistrosos for seven and a half thousand Swiss francs, which is about seven and a half thousand dollars in Geneva, in a shop I had been visiting for more than 20 years. 2022, three years later, I'm with a friend who's on Brabano, Maestro Urbano. And we're in Geneva, and of course, what aficionados do, they go and visit cigar shops. We go around. The uh, owner is not there. Some employees are there. It's the weekend. It's a Saturday. And uh, one of the girls uh, says uh, to my friend, uh, oh, by the way, we have a special humidor of Magisposos for sale. So my friend is very keen to have a look at it. We are looking at it. He's opening the box. Some things, there are things he doesn't really like on inside the box, doesn't feel very comfortable. Check, sends a few pictures to a friend of his in, a friend of ours in, uh, in London. And uh, the other guy comes up and says there are some discrepancies there and there. And I've shown these discrepancies uh, on uh, my first video. So we realized that this, the box we see in 2022, which was number 1320 out of 1966, was fake. Then uh, I was quite shocked by this. In the evening, I realized that the box I bought in 2019 came from this shop. So the next uh, Monday, I went to the place where I store my uh, collection, checked my box, and it had the same discrepancy. So, I was not happy. I contacted the shop. The guy told me, I don't think it's fake. Bring it back. I will reimburse you the seven and a half thousand. That was um, three years later. And obviously, I didn't want seven and a half thousand because the Casalbano, which is 30 minutes away from Geneva in Nyon, uh, is, was selling it for 35,000 Swiss francs. So uh, with seven and a half thousand back, I would not even buy a quarter of it. So uh, I said, no, I want a, a box back. And I just didn't know what my rights were, especially if someone was selling a fake cigar. So I contacted my lawyers, asked them to contact the distributor, called into the back. They, they were very, very useful. They told me we didn't sell the box um, to the shop and that sold it to you. This shop is uh, buying from the gray market, not from us but we're happy to take you to Cuba and ask Abanos, who are the manufacturer of these, um, uh, these boxes, these cigars, uh, to check. So um, that in September 2022, uh, three months later, I discovered the box was fake. I went to Cuba. And uh, Abanos came back uh, six months later with a full report uh, very impressive. Everything is fake. The box, the labels, the warranty stickers, um, the labels on the the the, the labels, the um, rings. Um, everything is fake. So uh, my lawyers contacted the shop asking to replace the box, and they said no. We don't accept what Abanos is saying. For us, the box is not fake. So this is something that if they are not an official distributor of Abanos, they don't even have to accept what Abanos is saying. It's the first lesson I, I learned. And then after going backwards and forward with them, um, they said, okay, we are happy to pay you 15,000. And my lawyer said, you know, buy low, and this is a second lesson. There is no real law in Switzerland that prevents you to sell fake cigars unless you knew they were fake. So. Just like me, you understand what it means. You open a shop, sell only fake cigars, but of course you don't know they are fake. Um, so there is no protection 
um, as you know, Abanos doesn't sue around the world because they would, they would spend all their time and their money just going after every fake cigar on the planet, and there are a lot. Um, and so there is no protection. The only protection, I would say, is going to legit shops and to check where you buy your cigars from. So don't trust the guy who knows the guy that works at the Cuban embassy and his uh, uh, brother-in-law of someone who knows someone. It doesn't work. And even in the shops, you have to check. Uh, like I said, um, you know my story. So um, I, my lawyer said, take the 15,000 and get over that. Uh, and I, I agree. I think yeah, I, I don't like wars. I don't want to fight. Some people say, why don't you burn the shop? First of all, shop is too high in the street to burn. And you don't burn shops. You just don't burn shops. Uh, you don't send people to fight. You don't, I mean, um, and um, so my lawyer said, you know, the judge, when they, they will see that, that you're fighting for a box of cigars that costs 40,000, they're going to say you're crazy. And they have other things to do. There's other issues in life um, than this uh, fake bo box of 20 cigars. So I said, OK, let's take 15,000. And uh, the other lawyer came back with a contract to sign. And the contract said, basically, that they don't recognize that the box is fake. I, basically, I'm just bringing it, giving it back, and they are giving me fifteen thousand dollars. And of course, uh, I send back uh, what I wanted to sign, which is another convention, a contract, which was like um, I paid the box in 2019 seven and a half thousand. They are offering me fifteen thousand, which I accept. But uh, they have to accept that the box is fake. They have to destroy it and they have to contact the people that, to whom they have sold the box I saw in their shop, which is, was, was number 1320. Um, and I also want to be able to, I don't want to secrecy um, on the contract. I want to be able to write the story in my book. I made some pictures, made some videos in the shops or even in Havana, so I want to put this in my book. And they refused. So the box is here. So what I can, I, can, can I do? Um, well, I've contacted other people. Some people have come to help me. Uh, I'm trying to sue in Cuba. We'll see what we can do. That's very interesting. It was very, very interesting because if I have a tribunal case in Cuba, that will be it. And in Switzerland, we're looking at other angles. There is an anti-piracy association. I've contacted them. They are sponsored by the um, watch makers. They have a lot of money. We'll see uh, what they do, what they can do. So this is a situation that they say, uh, um, at present, I didn't want to sign a document saying it's not fake and uh, I will forget about it. I don't accept that. Um, the box is still here. The name of the shop is on the sticker at the back. Obviously, I won't show it to you why. So people say, why don't you say the name? Because in Switzerland, and this is something you have to understand, guys, the law is different, especially in the US. In the US, you can scream at people, you can insult them, you can write horrible things. You have in your constitution um, an article that says basically that you have a freedom of speech and you can even tell horrible things false things. Um, it's not the case in Europe, and it's not the case in Switzerland. If I say anything that can damage the shop that sold me fake, I can go to jail. Whether it's just or fair, fair or not, um, this is the law. Do or Lex said Lex. The law is hard, but it's the law. It is the case. I take more risk telling the name of the shop that the shop is taking, selling fake cigars. Because what I say and what is recorded can really be used against me. And they can go to jail and I will have to pay much more money than the cost of this, um, 
this box. So this is why I'm not selling, I'm not telling. Um, if we go to a tribunal and I win, oh, I'd say not win, there is nothing to win, both losers. Um, but if I go to tribunal and tribunal says this shop here sold a fake box, then it will be official. But if I say it openly, and they are fighting me saying it's not fake because they don't recognize Abanos. What if the judge says, well, Abanos, I don't know them. Uh, we're going to ask someone. And this guy knows the shop. This is the risk. And they say you know, that I'm, I did this to damage the shop, then I can go to jail. So this is why I'm not going to say at present, I'm not going to say the name of the shop. It's because they are waiting for that to sue me. Um, so, situation now after three months, the box is still here. I am looking at different ways. Some people are helping me. There's an association, anti-piracy, contacted. Um, we'll see what we can do. I'm happy to settle for 15,000, compensate for my legal fees, but the box has to be destroyed. You can't sell it back. And you have to inform the people who bought the other boxes, and you know they were fake. You didn't only sold, sell fake boxes, I know that. But the one you sold that were fake, number 1320, you have to inform the buyer if he hasn't come back yet. Another information I discovered is that there are more, more fake boxes than I thought. Some don't have the mistakes, the spelling mistakes. There's a at least one or two other lines and that I discovered some people contacted me and I, we checked the labels and they have come back to their shop sometimes big shops to say they're fake they are fake so double check take pictures of especially the new lines that are fake and there are some being made now I saw a very very brand new box the sticker number matches, the warranty seal matches, but I could tell from the stickers, sorry, from the, um, the rings, um, that the cigars were fake. Took me uh, quite a while, I wasn't on my own, I bought some really great equipment. So. There is always a way. It's more and more difficult to tell a cigar that is fake. Um, but if you have a box of Majestosos to smoke, then smoke it. If you have it as a collector or maybe as an investment, when you sell it, someone will discover if it, it is fake, if it is fake. So take pictures, especially on the band, the cigar, the band, the ring. And um, check it, check it. They are, more, they are better and better, especially with time. It's been six years now. The printing machines are getting better. But still, there is a way, a few ways. I'm not going to say it to you yet. But there are many ways to find out it's fake. So this is a situation. There are more fakes than I thought. The box is still here. And I'm still hoping to find a solution. But I want this box to be destroyed as a fake. I hope you like this video. Goodbye.